Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I am going to do my Monday makeup picks. It's the second week that I'm doing it. Um, it's a new segment that I wanted to work with and um, I figured it was a way for me to show some of the products that I'm going to be using within the week. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So if you hear, you'll probably hear sweeper and different stuff in the background. Um, my uh, mom and my brothers um, help make people over here so you'll probably, you might hear some some commotion going on there. So the first thing I'll go through with, so I'll set those right up there. Uh, first thing I'll go through is my foundation and like a primer of some sort, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, I had had this before, a small sample of the Tarte Smooth Operator Illuminating, Illuminating Serum. I've had this before, a little sample, and I did really like it. And this came with, um, I don't know if it was from when I ordered Tarte from QVC, and it was in like one of the deals or something. But um, I wanted to use this up again. Um, I think it would be one that I would purchase. It's of a, um, it's not clear or anything like that. It has more of like the um, foundation kind of color, like, you know, like skin tone color. But it illuminates your, your complexion. And um, you can mix it with your foundation. I think I've tried that once and it was kind of not, didn't work out for me too well, but I could have done something wrong, so I can't really say it was the product itself. It could have been me, myself, so. But anyway, I'm going to use that as a primer. Then um, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I have a backup, so I kind of want to go through some of my um, foundation and um this is in my top five, I would say, favorites of foundations of all. And I just, I love it. I love the coverage. I love the staying, um, you know, like the staying uh, power that it, 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 how long it stays on me. And um, the coverage, it's just, it's a really great full coverage foundation. And I just love it. So um, I'm doing these two things together. So um, I might get a big size of that. Because I have liked it the last time I used it. You know how sometimes you'll use something and then you'll be trying other stuff and then you almost kind of do forget about a product that you used. Um, so for concealers, what I'm using and going to be using is my uh, L'Oreal uh, True Match. This is in that crayon, crayon um, kind of concealer. Honestly, I'm just eh with it. It's okay. Um, you can see I'm going th trying to go through it, but uh, it's just okay. I, I, I'm not really like, oh, wowed over it or anything like that. Looks like mine's in W4-5. I can't even read what the actual coloring it would say on it, but it's just okay. I just I want to kind of go through with it and use it and everything, um, but I'm just not so wowed with with that. I don't know. And then um, the other thing I'm going to be using is my Pixie Correction Concentrate uh, Brightening Peach. I've shown this in my favorites before. I've shown um, how it goes on and applies on and it is a nice gorgeous pink, pink, yeah, peach color. Um, so it really does help camouflage and brighten under the eyes and just, it's a really good, um, concealer. I love this stuff. So I'm going to be using this kind of to help brighten up a little bit more and just do that little other extra coverage. Uh, so those are the two I'm going to be using. And, um, I need to get out some other powders. So I'm going to have to, I, I did <laughs> I just can't help myself with this, but it is the Laura Geller uh, Balance and Brighten, which sun, I hate when it's sun starts shining like that, but it's the uh, Balance and Brighten, and I've shown this many times in my favorites and everything. 
um, just love this guy from Laura Geller with the brush. I always love using the brush. I use this to set under my eyes and all over my face. So it just helps with a little more extra coverage or just to set the makeup and everything. Um, so, and then the other thing I'm going to be using, this I had in my last uh, picks was my e.l.f. brow kit, but I really don't have too many eyebrow products and this one just works for me and sometimes certain things especially like your eyebrows um you know when you find something you should stick with it pretty much but um i might try some other kind of eyebrow products i don't know there's just far and few so this one i really like and i thought i'm gonna go ahead and use it again so i'm gonna go through that um for my mascara is the same because i'm trying to go through mascaras i don't want to constantly open up too many mascaras um because they you know they dry out after a while so i like to stick with the ones i'm using for the three months worth and then go to the next but i love this combination honest to goodness i love the cores um i didn't know how much i would like it but it's the cores uh pro vitamin b5 rich brand uh, mascara this one here and I just love that. It's for lengthening and everything it has. And then the ready to wear. Um, this is the volume lash that I was showing before. I just love these two together. And like I said, it just gives my lashes like this full. I, you don't even need. I mean, like this makes falsies for your, for your eye. If you have pretty good eyelashes especially. But yeah, it just, it really... You know does really good for my my eyelashes I just I love it um, eyeliners I have a couple eyeliners here do I have two or do I have three do I have I think I have three okay so the three I have I have this one on right now which is the uh, Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner. They come in. This came in a kit that I had a while back. And this one is in. It's a purple color. I'm not sure what color is it called. Purple Paradise. Nice name. So um, it's a nice purple color. And like I said, I like to a lot of times in my waterline use a nice purple or blue or something. Um, or chocolate color but there it is there I don't think you can tell it's purple there too much it has this little smudgy thing so you can you know smoke it out if you want to so um, I wanted to go ahead and go through that I, I love purples I just think they work so nicely um, this one also for my waterline for days that which I got a piece of hair there yay um, the Scandal, Scandalize, the Rimmel Scandalize, <laughs> and this is in that nude one, and this is for them, them days where I want to have, uh, the eyes, you know, like on my waterline, I want to have it look more open, and, you know, it's just that nudie, nudie color, right there. So I like that. I've been using that a good bit too. And then this one I got for free with a product that I got from BH Cosmetics and it's the BH Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And I think you do have to shake this up. But it has the nice uh, felt tip. Nice, you know, like sharp felt tip kind of a point there. And it goes on very nice. I mean, it glides on really nice. And it's pretty intense of a um, eyeliner, as you can see. So that's for my black eyeliner that I like to use. Which, let me grab some wavies. Okay. And let's see, so, oh, my eye primer, 
I'm going to be using is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. It came with my uh, Lorac Pro, the first one I got. So, I like that. But, you know, it's funny because, like, the Fergie primer that I use and that I love so much, this, it reminds me, it's like almost like a dupe, I feel. Um, and so, you know, of course, Lorac will be a little more pricey. Um, and the Fergie one is um, not so crazy. The other thing I'm using as a base is my creamy beige eyeshadow from the color tattoo which I hear my kitty the sun's shining again but the color tattoo it's a creamy beige it's from the leather uh, leather um, collection which is permanent there it is there okay I might have to let my kitty in there is what it looks like. Just a nice beige color. Okay, honey. Hold on a sec. I think they're kind of like a matte. So you can even wear this if you want to just itself. You don't have to put something over top of it. And I will be back because my kitty is meowing. So. Alright, so then um, eyeshadows. Some more eyeshadows that I have here. Um, I have the Infallible uh, the L'Oreal Infallibles, you know how much I love those. I love those even more than the color tattoos. I think it's just because I like the uh, texture of them. And the colors are just more vibrant to me or something. Um, and they're easy to work with. <laughs> so the Infallible I have here is the 335 Golden Emerald. And it does have a nice golden goldenish color to it with the green just simply gorgeous I love it you can see the colors there very pretty and I'm trying to run from the sun as I always do there it is there it's so pretty and you know me I love greens so there it is there Very pretty. So, right, Mr. Sun. But, yeah, I really like my greens. So I'm looking forward to that. And, of course, you know, since fall is coming. Uh, as I always quote, I'm a summer gal. Don't know what my cat's doing. He's getting into all kinds of stuff. Which, our oh, sun. Sun, sun, sun. There. Had to move a little bit more. The other one um, is the uh, Wet n Wild. This was a limited edition. It is the Walking the Red Carpet. I had seen, um, I think it was Lynette McGee. She was doing a whole eye look on it, and I thought, you know, I need to pull that out. Have not used it yet. Um, very pretty colors. That's what I do have on my eyes right now. Um, I do have that on my eyes. Um, it's They're pretty. They're really nice shades. I think the only one that I, because I was going to try and work with it and I was not having too much of a success with it, um, is the that gold one there. This gold one. It's It's a pretty color. But boy, does it have the fallout. So you're better off doing it when, and then putting on your foundation afterwards, because there's a lot of fallout with that that guy right there. So, um, but uh, the colors I mostly used was on this side here, um, and I, I did try to work with this gold because I thought I wanted to kind of work it in there, but I was having some fallout, so I don't know. But these are the colors I have. I see all the, these neutrally colors right here on that side. So that's what I have on my eyes. Just a basic natural look. Um, 
And then another thing that I have for my eyes, which I only used it once and I did show it on a video of mine uh, when I was talking about some Pixie products. Um, I love this palette, so I'd probably get another palette from her. It is the um, Perfection Palette uh, Lit Up Lovely, is what it's called. Now, unfortunately, it's I don't think it's no longer because she'll have palettes for so long, and then you know they're just for so such a period of time. And this one seemed to have sold pretty quickly. And if you can see why, I mean, it's it has uh, the eye, the cheek, and the face is what it is. It's a whole nice, beautiful case, which Pixie, like Too Faced, just makes such beautiful packaging, I think. And um, it has this band thing here that you just take off or loosen up there. There is no mirror, so that's probably one downside of it. But you have all these beautiful eyeshadow colors all right here, all in here. And then you have your blushers, oh here you have like three of them to work with. You have like a peach color, a mauve color, and then a neutrally kind of color. And then of course here you have your, a bronzer and a highlight. So and the highlight I don't believe is a shimmer, it kind of reminds me of um, the Cabana um, from Wet n Wild, something Cabana. So um, it reminds me, sorry for all the screaming and yelling because there's like people downstairs, company and stuff. But there it is um, right there. The bronzer. Okay, and there is the bronzer. There's the bronzer right there. Um, and the shadows are great quality, I will say, because they were very pigmented when I have used them before. Um, there's one there. Beautiful, like, goldeny color. Right there. Um, this one I think is a peach color, or something like that. Is that peach color? A peachy color of some sort. I think, you know what, it almost, in some craziness, reminds me of the Cosmopolitan from, what's her name, um, Makeup Geek a little bit. Just a little bit. As you can see, they have shimmer. Um, I believe a majority of them all have shimmer, don't they? So there's not really a matte to work with in there, but um, it's a really nice palette. And I mean, if you can find it, which I'm going to guess now would be like eBay or something like that, or maybe Amazon, um, but it is a really nice palette. And I, I really like it. Just like I said, the downside is no mirror. Um, so. You'd have to have your own mirror with that. Um, wipe some of those off. For, let's see. Ah, okay. Some more of a bronzer and some blushes. The bronzer I'm going to use and work with, and I've only done a couple times, is the Hula Bronzer, the all famous Hula Bronzer, which you and Saul have seen it and all that great stuff, so um, I'm going to work with the Hula blah, 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 Bronzer. <laughs> um, blushes, I'm going to use two of my Kat Von D blushes. I haven't really gotten to really use them quite, but while well, I do have the one on today, which is uh, the one right here, Love Song. Love Song is the one I have on today. And it is gorgeous. I love this one. It's like a pink. Hmm. It's a pink. What do I want to say? A pink color, of course. But I'm trying to think of the pink color. It's like a very hot pink. I don't know. They're very pigmented. It's just really pretty. 
love it. There it is there. But uh, I love it. That's it there. And it's called Love Song. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the other one, which is called Truth. Still have them in the boxes, so like I said, I haven't gotten to use them much, but this one's Truth. And it's more neutral, kind of nice neutral color. There it is there. Really nice neutral color. Like a neutrally peach or peach natural peach color maybe really pretty so that's truth and then for highlight I'm going to be using for my highlighter the uh, Too Faced Candlelight Glow which I have on today Oh, the bronzer I believe I have on is Hula too. That's, that's, I forgot to say that. So Hula, Hula bronzer I have on too. And this is a really nice highlight. You got two sides to it. So you have like a pinky side. And then you have the white side. There is... I'm thinking where is the pink side, but there it is there. Not sure if that's the pink side for me sometimes doesn't swatch well though. But it's there. But um it goes on nice on the cheeks. I mean I have it on my cheeks right now. Um but that's the Too Faced Candlelit Glow. And like I said, I mean, you can see the glow right there. Not sure, that might have been the other side, which the more of a white side color. But I love that. Like I guess it's sometimes I have a hard time with the pink side. I don't know why. I don't know if everybody does. Um, okay, so then for lips, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Lip Insurance again, just to help the feathering and all that kind of jazz. And then um, I'm going to use, I showed this in a video, and showed you different ways you can use it. It's the Mali, um, let me see, it's the Mali uh, Pro Tricks Lip Palette is what it is. It's from Lip Tricks Palette. So that's it right there. It has several different lip colors. Um, that you can play with. Here they are here. It's in a case like this. And then you have these here like your transition. You can change the color up for lighter, darker, or make it a pearlized lip. So there's like a lot of colors to work with. As you can see, I showed this in a video a while ago. I could probably link it down below. And then um, the other thing, oops, sorry about that. The other lip product I have, um, this was sent to me, so I have a couple of them, and I'm going to play around with them, um, and then do a review, but I really think I'm going to like these lip glosses. Why well, they sent me two lipsticks and a lip gloss, which the lipstick, I tried one before from them, and it is... The, well, this is the lip gloss here uh, from Pure Minerals. It is their lip gloss. And I love the packaging to it. Um, why I do, I mean, yeah, it has the simple basic tube like this. But what I like is it has, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. It has like the lip right there on top. You know, like the, like a little lip there. This is in Glitzy is what it's called, which it's what I do have on my lips right now. Um, I topped it with uh, one of Mally's lip lipsticks in this kit, which I shouldn't have put it away, should I have? I topped it with one of these. 
and it was these two that I used together and got a nice berry look to the lips and then I topped it with the glitzy which I really like a lot I really think I'm gonna like these lip glosses I didn't try the other one yet but um you know it's just a very nice lip gloss um I'll get in more depth with it but look at the doe foot applicator I love uh, that I just love how it's shaped so there's the color there very pigmented very opaque as people would say never knew what the word opaque meant well I did but you know what I mean no don't want to use that part but there it is there that's really pretty and opaque really like the color very pretty so I'll do a review on those and I believe that is it right yes okay so thank you so much for joining me on my um, second Monday makeup picks um, if there's anything else that you want me to do a review on or sample or try or whatever let me know you can put it down below um, and also busy day here uh, but don't forget to subscribe and also you can join me on Facebook and Twitter and I love you all so much I really appreciate it and don't forget to always be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through okay all right, beauties, thank you so much. Really appreciate all you. Take care. Bye-bye.